Hi everyone, this is Grace. Hope you've been well. I wanted to share with you the bracelets that I created using the complimentary items from bbcraft.com. Down in the description bar, I will leave all of the information regarding the items that I use. I'll um, include the link so that if you are interested, you can certainly go check it out on their website. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and down below, I will make sure to also link the unboxing video of all the items that I picked for the month of July. Now, um, this was one of the um, items that I selected, and I particularly purchased this because I wanted to do some bracelet or beading with my little niece when I visit her. And let me show you this again. Um, the holes are one millimeter and they come with these really nice spacer beads. I am leaving the spacer beads in the little Ziploc bag because I just don't want them to fly everywhere if I end up having to, you know, if I make the mistake and drop this um, storage container. But it's really nice. It comes in a nice storage container. And I think that the next time I place an order, I will end up getting certainly more of the ivory and the white because um, as you can see, what I did was I used, I wanted to create bracelets that I know that I could use every day, not just for the fancier occasions. And so what I did was um, I picked black and white and I used this thin spacer bead and I think it came out quite nice and it, this kit actually comes with this stretchy cord and um, it's I think eight millimeters so it snugly fits into the holes and so it does take a little bit of getting used to but I think it's still um, sturdy enough that you can thread all the beads and spacer beads certainly um, into this um, cord and it's really stretchy I love so I even left a little bit poking out so that you can take a look do you guys see that hold on do you guys see that so um, and I'll explain why that one has a little knot whereas this one you really can't tell and it's as seamless as I could make it so yeah but I thought this would be nice to pair with say a pair of jeans and a white shirt um, like white dress shirt um, or actually not even jeans but a nice pair of black pants with a nice pair of white dress shirt wouldn't that look really pretty so um, and then I have um, silver um, circular um, earrings like diamond earrings that fit hold on all right sorry about that oh my cough so anyway i picked i selected this because oh there it is you can see but you can't really tell um when you wear it and it looks just like that it comes on really nicely and yeah i thought it was really nice it came out looking pretty um and so pick that one up. And then what I did with this one is I wanted to give it a little bit more of a spring color and I have quite a number of pastel outfits. And so what I did was I took this little green and then paired it with kind of a little bit more of the opalescent pearl instead of the vibrant white. And then I used this little spacer beads. So even though you guys are probably thinking it's the same bracelet, I don't, I don't get it. Hold on. All right, I wanted to take it off for you. So even though it literally um, is pretty much the same bead and the same format, you'll notice that because of the spacer beads, um, the bracelet looks different. So let me explain to you why this one has a little knot and this one is as seamless as I can get it. With this one, I think I ended up tying it three or four times. With this one, I could have sworn I tied it three times, but apparently not because this one was just as big as this. But when I took it off to get ready to film this video, it broke. The string unraveled. And so, yeah, you can imagine my dismay. I hunted things down, and I think if the spacer beads 
and the lack of the pearl beads can be accounted for. I think I am missing a white one and a green one. So it is what it is. But I didn't want to, um, you know, waste the cord that I had cut. And I had purposely made the bracelet a little loose. Like when you do the black one, you can tell it hangs kind of here instead of right at my um, wrist. And so because of that, I knew that I could shrink this down. And even though it's just one... Um, you know, two beads less with a spacer bead, it's, I think it still looks okay. Oh, don't mind the um, wristwatch marks. I took off my wristwatch just now. So yeah, I thought it came out looking really pretty. And so yeah, it came like this. And as you can see, I still have a lot of beads and spacers. It doesn't even look like I made a dent in any of these, huh? So, um, so we're, let's put this aside. Hold on. Actually, I was going to close it, but before I do, I wanted to share with you something. So you guys saw what I did with the black and white to give it kind of a um, semi-business -bus you know, attire look. And then this one I used so that I can use with my, um, what is it, spring pastel suits. But I was also thinking you can pair this up, pair this up, or even pair that up. Um, you guys can tell I really like the white. But you can also pair this up. You can pair this. You can do Mardi Gras, or this would be really pretty too. And so just a lot of varieties. And so for those of you who buy suits and or dresses, and you just have a really hard time finding jewelry that really matches your outfit, I think this would be a really great set to try out because you can then color coordinate your own and I can totally now see why a lot of women like to buy their own, not buy, but make their own jewelry because, you know, it's so versatile. So anyway, there's that. I'm just going to put that aside so at least you can see what was created. Now the second... And third um, items that I used today, um, this is one of the kits. And again, it comes in this really sturdy container. Don't worry, I'm not going to spill it. <laughs> I always wonder, am I going to spill it? I'm doing this one-handed. But yeah, and then um, you guys can see these are rondelle beads and just a really vibrant sparkle on the facets. And again, the um, size is one millimeter. And so what I did was I selected this knowing that this kit would come with the stretchy cord so that I wouldn't have to buy my own separate stretchy cord just to you know see how I like it. And I really like making bracelets, it's a lot of fun. And so what I did was I wanted to create something that was a little bit more casual, more fun. And so I was looking at and I knew that I wanted, I had ordered this separately. I think it comes in a pack of like 40 maybe or so, or 20 something. And it just says love, believe in love. I picked the one that says handmade with love. So um, as you can see, it's this tiny little thing that says handmade with love. And I thought it would just be really cute to just string that and then have this although if you have other charms that you want to use certainly you can do that as well and so yeah you can color coordinate your outfits during the summer especially it might be fun to do kind of like a light blue and a dark blue or even this or even that I mean the sky's the limit you guys know and this is what it looks like very pretty very shiny and here there we go and the great thing about these um, is that based on your wrist size and how loose or how tight you want your bracelets, you get to make the length. And so, yeah, I will say um, the string for the most part, it does take a little bit of getting used to, um, but I did hear that if you have difficulty threading it, what you can do is dip it in some hot wax to just stiffen the elastic cord and that will give it kind of like a needle-like hardness so that they thread through the beads a lot easier so yeah but I ended up getting these and I thought that this was really cute you can certainly use this 
not only to create bracelets like I did, but I was also thinking of using these with um, to create like bookmarks. You know those bookmarks with charms? And so I was thinking of the, um, especially the ones with like big holes like this. Remember the pink um, ribbon that I have um, from June? You could totally thread that in or the purple one and then just tie it and create this really pretty um, bookmark. You can certainly tack this on to chunky charms, um, create planner charms, you know, a whole slew of things. Or if you want, you can just put this in um, the necklace cords that also BB Craft sells. Um, and yeah, you can just thread that along and it becomes this tiny little delicate like this one, love. It would be this tiny little delicate um, charm. So yeah, or if you want, instead of just doing one charm, like I did, you can create a multiple of them. And I was actually thinking it might actually not have looked that bad if I had spaced, you know, more charms, a few more charms here and there, but yeah, I like it. And it came out looking a lot better than I had hoped and expected so I'm quite excited and um, this is something I'm hoping that my little niece will want to do with me when I go to visit her and if nothing else I mean these are she has that father-daughter dance every year and so I thought it would be nice for her to create she usually likes kind of pink and white so it might be nice for her to create like a pink and white bracelet kind of the way I did the um green and white or the pearl bracelet or she could do purple and white I mean sky's the limits right so anyway I wanted to just share this project with you I am a little late I was supposed to film this last week um but you know last weekend was a little bit crazy so um we're gonna be behind a little bit but this is my first project share for the month of July stay tuned next Saturday I hope to then have the remainder of the items that I selected to try out. And so I'll share those with you. Certainly, um, I'm interested to see um, the pom-pom makers as well as the ink. Um, not the ink, but oh, what am I talking about? Um, the buttons. I ended up getting some really cute little buttons. And so you'll get to see what I create with those. So. All right, take care everyone, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. God bless.